Hi, this is Don from American E-Liquid Store. In this video, we're introducing our brand new American E-Liquid Store Panther Tank Electronic Cigarette Kit. On the desk in front of me is exactly what comes in the kit, and this is a really high value, densely packed, a lot of little parts uh, kind of a kit, so let me walk you through everything that is here. First off, like all of our electronic cigarette kits, it comes with a 15 milliliter bottle of uh, vegetable glycerin based American e-liquid store, either tobacco or menthol flavor. In your choice of nicotine, either 12 milligrams per milliliter or 24 milligrams per milliliter. If you're looking for the equivalent of a full flavored cigarette, definitely go with the 24 milligrams per milliliter. It is by far our most popular nicotine strength. Let's take a look at the electronic cigarette kit. Comes packaged in a little plastic tube so you can carry it around in a purse or something like that without uh, damaging anything. The first thing to note is uh, there is a filling adapter. Uh, the bottle that you get with e-liquid in it is going to ship with our traditional dropper top which works very well for filling cartomizers or regular cartridges. Uh, not so well for filling tanks, so you've got the adapter, whichever uh, system you have will work. Uh, let me just show you here, this plastic dropper top does pop right off. Set that on the side. And you can just take the uh, tank filling adapter, screw it right on. It's already got the needle screwed in. There's a little red scabbard on the top which you can pop right off. I have to use my fingernail to get that off. Uh, and we'll be using that later when we show you how to fill. Let me put that top back on. The needle is really solid and not sharp, so you don't need to worry about poking yourself. And with the scabbard on there, if you're carrying it in something, uh, you don't need to worry about bending or anything like that. Let's take a deeper look into the e-cigarette kit. First off, it's got our American e-liquid store. We'll try and get you a, a pop-up window here. Uh, 510 equivalent battery. Uh, it comes with two empty tanks. We'll show you how to fill those in a minute. Uh, it comes with a 510T atomizer. Uh, this black cartridge, unlike the clear tanks, is actually just to keep it from getting crushed in shipping. So if you pop that off, you'll notice that there's absolutely nothing inside there. Again, we'll try and get you a pop-up picture. Uh, but this, once you are putting a tank in, is actually an extra packaging piece and you don't need that anymore. So I'll just set that way on the side. Set the atomizer down. Second last piece in there is a USB charger. Uh, it will plug into absolutely any uh, thing that's USB, whether it be your computer's USB port. Or if you're in the car, we have other accessories available that do not come with the kit, but you can get a USB car charger, USB wall chargers, uh, where's the USB on that? There it is. Uh, or anything that has a regular USB cable that you can plug uh, USB into. Uh, laptop is really convenient if it's right next to you. It fits really nice and flat and that works fine. We'll charge in a minute. Lastly, uh, the label, when you take it out, this is kind of an early prototype, so there's nothing on the back. Uh, we'll have an instruction kit on the back that will tell you how to start vaping, how to charge the battery, all that kind of stuff. Before we can vape, we have to fill a tank. So let's follow the instructions uh, in the manual to get the tank filled. Step one is connect the atomizer to the battery. You just take the uh, threaded end screw it in, does not have to be super tight, that's it. Step two, insert the tank until you hear a click. So I'm going to open up a tank here and give you a couple of intermediate steps. Uh, first thing you'll notice about the tank is it has a little rubber cap on the end that's kind of a protector to seal. You might want to keep that for travel purposes later if you carry extra filled tanks that aren't attached to an electronic cigarette. I'm just going to pop that off. The second thing to notice is that there actually is not a hole in the end of a tank. They're shipped as completely sealed units and inside the atomizer there's a little pipe shaped thing that actually pokes a hole uh, and pierces it so that you can actually fill it. Uh, so I'm going to squeeze that together, insert the tank until click. I don't know if that click came through but uh, when it's all the way in and the seams are tight you know that it's in. 
I will pop that out and now if we can get a close-up of the uh, tank you can see that there's a hole in it that we can fill. Step three of the instructions is remove and fill the tank. We've already removed it and looked at the hole in there so I'm going to take our bottle of e-liquid give it a little shake, some settling can occur and remove the red scabbard that keeps it from leaking out the needle and I'm going to put in the proper side of the tank. I just want to review that a little bit. The round end is the end that goes into your mouth. The uh, end with the little square sides on part of it, I think you can see that if I spin this in the picture here. That's the hole that the liquid goes in. So I just take the needle, put it anywhere in the hole. You can see that it moves around and with a little squeeze of the bottle, this will fill right up. These tanks hold approximately one pack of cigarette or about 20 cigarettes worth. Once it's full, we can just pop it right back on the atomizer. Hopefully you could hear a little click there and we are ready to vape. Okay, now let's see how to vape. Uh, just a couple vaping tips for new users. There is the button on the top of the e-cigarette. All of ours are manual or button operated. We find that that works better. The advantage is that you can press the button as you're bringing the electronic cigarette up to your lips, which tends to preheat the atomizer uh, and make it work a little better. Another tip, uh, sometimes a long steady draw that's a little bit lighter works better than a really hard draw. We'll shake it up a little bit. If this has been sitting in your desk for two or three hours, you're probably going to want to do that in case there's any separation. And it works just like a regular cigarette. You just bring it up to your lips and inhale like this. That's it. Now let's uh, take a look at what you do once the battery is dead and we'll see how you get these things charged. First thing to know is when does the battery need charging? The normal e-cigarette operation is when you press the button to engage the battery you can see that the end of the e-cig has an LED that lights up in this case red. I can also feel it getting a little warm on my fingers. Uh, you'll know that the battery is getting close to needing charging either when it starts to not work as well, a little bit less vapor production than you're used to, or the electronic signal is that this light when you push the button will flash on and off four or five times rather than staying on solid. So let's pretend that this battery needs charging. Per the instructions, step one is disconnect the battery from the atomizer. That's simply unscrew it. Step two is grab the charger and screw the battery into the charger. And for this example, uh, I'm going to use my laptop USB port, which is right here on the side. But again, these work just great with car chargers or wall chargers or in the ends of cables. A uh, couple of things about that. USB, actually, USB adapters have a seam on one end and flat on the other end. The side with no seam is always the top. Another way you can tell that is with our well-made uh, USB charger here, the light is also on the top. That's the same side. So I know that it goes in with the light on the top. I just look at the side of the computer, slide it right in, and you can see the little light came on. I don't know how well that's showing, but you can see this little light. I'll try and hold it up. Don't know if you can see that or not, but it is on and it is red, which indicates that it's charging. When it's fully charged, uh, it will turn green and you're ready to go. Typically, that uh, if the battery is really dead, that typically takes about two and a half hours or so if it's plugged into something low power like a laptop USB port.